Hey guys, welcome back to more AFK Arena. In today's video, we're over on the test server to check out the new Awakened Brutus. First of all, design looks absolutely savage. The in-game sprite looks amazing. His abilities look sick. And like for actual functionality, I'm pretty happy with where they got him to. Now, we'll talk about it because some of the key things to make him good are tied into his furniture and also his engraving, which kind of sucks, but they are just things that make him better. I also think he could be decent. So let's go through his skills and have a chat about it. So keep in mind that the skill ups for this, his ultimate, are just from leveling. Uh, the skill ups from this are from the signature item. This one is from the furniture and this one's skill ups are from the engraving. So just a recap on how they work and then we have this extra ability. But Let's jump into this. So his ultimate ability, Brutus shocks the ground beneath his feet, dealing 350% damage uh, to enemies within range, sending them flying towards himself. So it like sucks them in. After he swings his mountain breaker, that's his sword, at nearby enemies, dealing damage equal to 15% of the respective max HP, um, which isn't too bad. Max HP damage, we will take it. Uh, that sends them flying into the air again. Damage dealt cannot exceed 650% of Brutus's attack rating. Brutus's defense is additionally increased by 25% for 7 seconds for every enemy struck. This skill ignores dodge and Brutus is immune to control effects while it's active. So the immune to dodge is sort of like a, a bit of a nod to his raw stopping enemies from dodging. So they do incorporate little bits of the original Brutus into you know his kit here and that is one of them. So um, then we get the defense boost increased to 30% for 9 seconds and all enemies within range uh, uh, of the ultimate have the majority of their buffs removed. So, you know, he's dealing damage. He's got some control. He's dragging them in. We've got max HP damage. We've got a defense increase for himself. Um, and also we have a strip for enemies. It's a pretty decent ultimate. Next up, we have Rank Breaker. Brutus strikes enemies in front of him. Now, it looks like this has a pretty decent range from the little test that I did. Uh, multiple times and knocks them back. With each strike dealing 200%, 250% attack damage, every 1% defense Brutus has over the enemy, he hits in his hits. He hits. I think it's meant to be his hits increase the damage dealt by 3% up to 500%. So if he's got a stack of defense, uh, I don't think this will come into play too much in campaign, but I feel like for PvP, it's going to be quite valuable. Um, and then we with the skill ups, which comes from the signature item, this one, I believe that, yeah, the level 2 is the base unlock, and then we've got 10, 20, 30. So... Passive. Each time Brutus suffers damage, uh, accumulating to 15% of his max health, he receives a mountain shield with a value equal to 12.5% of his max health and lasts for 6 seconds. Can be triggered up to 1 time every 4 seconds. See, th this is the funny thing. They put it as skill ups, but it seems like a completely different ability. Like, it just sounds completely different. But anyway... We'll keep reading them like it's the same ability skill ups, even though it's a completely different ability. Uh, if Brutus's mountain shield is destroyed while still active, uh, he receives 30% damage reduction for seven seconds. This effect cannot be stacked. Uh, if Brutus's mountain shield is not destroyed while still active, he permanently receives 5% additional defense, which, you know, it ties into defense. And then obviously he gets a defense buff with his ultimate, which is going to increase the damage of this, yada, yada, yada. Then we get level five, which is 30 Sing Triton. Each time Brutus receives a mountain shield, nearby allies will receive Inspire, which removes the majority of debuffs affecting them and increases their defense by 25% of Brutus's current defense for 6 seconds. This effect cannot be stacked. Nice little support for the teammates, removing debuffs. Always a nice little thing, especially if it's a hard debuff, like a stun or something like that. Um, but then also giving them some extra mitigation. Not too bad. Next up, this one. Brutus sends enemies within a certain range flying, dealing 350% attack uh, rating damage and stunning them for two seconds. This skill will be triggered at the start of battle. So when we spoke uh, about... Uh, I've already forgotten how to pronounce her name. I actually watched the AFK Arena YouTube video, the chick on screen, uh, the K-A-L-E-N-E. -E. Uh, I forgot how to pronounce it. But her, I talk about how her ability doesn't happen at the start of battle, which sucks. His happens at the very start of battle. So if you put him in the front row, he's going to use this straight away on someone, give you some control on a front row enemy. It's really nice. Now, the big thing is that level two 
is going to be the distance enemies are sent flying is increased to tw is increased to 250 percent of the original distance lands a critical hit on a move immovable enemies so that's three furniture and then nine furniture is if an enemy is sent flying is it is this furniture let me just check let me just double check Yep, yep, this one's the furniture. If an enemy is sent flying to the edge of the battlefield, they are additionally dealt 500% attack rating damage and the duration of the stun is increased to six seconds. So if you get him to nine furniture, and this is the thing that's kind of sad to me. I wish this was like tied into his signature item so you could get him mythic and get this effect. So at base, because I always talk about these guys having one copy of them being useful, at base, you're only going to get a two second stun out of him at the start of the battle. However... And that's the sad thing. Like, if he could get this full full distance punt with a six second stun at the start of the battle, he'd be amazing, even at one copy. But you get a two second stun at base. But if you max out his furniture, so you get him ascended, um, then he's going to punt them to the very end of the battlefield, deal massive damage, and also stun them for six seconds, which is really nice. Uh, then we have this one, which was an ability. I was hoping he would have something like this, and he does. Brutus is immune to the first fatal damage he suffers and receives a shield with a value equal to 45% of his max health, which exists for seven seconds. Brutus is invulnerable for two seconds when the shield... Ex for two seconds when the shield expires so basically old brutus we get like a nine second um invulnerability this brutus we get a two second invulnerability but so so it, it's interesting it'll depend if the other supportive factors of his kit make him more valuable than the normal brutus when we look at like an you know ascended normal brutus versus him one copy well ascended's obviously going to be better i think of the other brutus but you know he has some sort of value, but it's very watered down, but he definitely gets better as you invest. So we'll have to test around and play with this. I'll try and get a single copy and play around with him. But any remaining value uh, the shield has when its duration ends is converted into health for Brutus. So not too bad gets a heal from anything remaining. And that's why I think all these defense buffs, the, the shielding, all this stuff, I think he's going to be really good for PvP, is the vibe I'm getting. While the shield uh, produced by undying by this ability uh, <laughs> exists, Brutus's damage is increased by 20%, uh, and struck enemies lose 25 haste points for 6 seconds. This effect cannot be stacked. And then at times this ability can be triggered is increased to 2. So if you get him to 60 engraving, it makes him an absolute savage. Because he'll get this immunity, get the shield, you can top him up, and then he can keep going and then he can actually proc this again so when you get him to nine furniture and 60 engraving i think he's going to be an absolute savage because i also think he's going to be deal good damage he's going to be useful in um like i, I think he's going to be incredibly useful in campaign like he has some max hp scaling but i just feel like he has good enough control good enough damage he has that front row position where he can you know punt an enemy straight up so he's got straight away cc i think he's got enough in his kit to be viable in like high deficit campaign as well uh his kit just lends it to it but let's jump into this one as well this one i'm str i struggle to read and make sense of so apologies if i misunderstand this one when a shield is generated on the battlefield by using the earth emblem the mountain breaker so I, I think it's just any shield is generated this whole bit in between i don't think it needs to be included um but whenever a shield is generated on the battlefield absorbs the power of earth to absorb an amount of energy equal to 35 percent of the shield's value which has a cumulative upper limit equal to 30 percent of brutus's max health I don't know whether when it says energy, I don't think it means actual energy. I think it means like a separate, like it, it's absorbing the power of a shield because then when active damage is dealt, the target loses additional health equal to the amount of energy currently absorbed. So it's not like energy is in the yellow bar. It's a separate sort of power and their defense is decreased by 15% for eight seconds. This effect can be stacked up to three times. If the absorbed energy reaches its limit, which is 30% of his max health, it will be reset and reaccumulate once the ultimate skill has ended and the value of energy that is later absorbed from the shield is additionally increased by 15 percent honestly this one this is one of those abilities that i just i read and i get lost in it but it seems like he's going to deal extra like as shields are generated on the field he's going to get extra power that gets unleashed when he attacks an enemy it gets a bit tongue it, it gets a bit confusing to me so we'll test 
I'll get someone to call me and explain it to me, and uh, we'll be right next time we come back for Brutus. But let's check him out. Let's check him out because he looks he looks sick. So this one here, begin. Oh wait, right, let's let's go back. Okay, so no furniture here. You can see it's only a short punt with a two second stun there. That's only the two second stun. And when we go into the other battle, we'll get to see more. Um, but this is his ultimate. His ultimate's really cool. He, he sh like, it's a fair range and he shoots them all up and then they land on top of him. Great grouping up. Uh, ultimate again. It's pretty cool. So this is his, his like whirlwind sort of attack. That's his skill too. Um, that's his knockdown again with the knockback. Honestly, pretty cool kit. So that's what it looks like. Let's go over here. Um, I did one test because I wanted to test him out. Pretty savage. So let's just put Lyca here to get some haste and let's watch. So you can see he punts, he punts her right to the back and does a massive amount of damage, but he punts her right to the back because in this he does have his furniture, so he does get that extra knockback effect. Um, and there's his ultimate, like, just groups him up. He's got that extra shield, blocking a fair bit of damage, and he can just delete things. So obviously this test is flawed because, like, the, the, the deficit isn't there. It's not crazy, but I still think his kit... I think, I think if you get him to one star ascended, he's going to be an absolute beast. Um, I'm curious to see how he can push in campaign when we get him on Kiasma. Um, you know, whether he can be actually like a main carry or whether, you know, you still need someone else for the bulk of the damage. But I just think he's got a really solid kit. He's got pretty solid damage multipliers um, and all that sort of stuff. And some really good CC, some shielding, some survivability. So I think he's going to be a very valuable character. How meta he will be, we'll wait and see on Kiazma. And I will definitely test him with a single copy at Legendary to see what kind of usage we can get out of him there. But Brutus looking absolutely sick. Really love this Awakened Hero. Thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and I look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.